you're a hot-blooded man with needs, Gavin, and it's perfectly natural for you to fulfil those needs. But it's like you've changed. Right. How much do you know? Enough to know you're being led astray. Right, well, that, 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 that is right enough. But if head office ever found out that a manager at Valco urinated at a cash machine, that's drunk as a skunk. That was you! The lout in the paper! Yes, and to make matters worse, I slept here, like under the desk. Oh, thank God, Gavin! I thought you'd been with... Well, I, 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 I thought it was something much, much worse than that. But you said I should be sent to prison. You're in a very demanding, high-powered job, Gavin. You've got to let off steam every now and then. Oh, right. <laughs> anyway, I, I have no right to ask you this, but would you mind keeping this to yourself? A secret? Between us? Well, us and Andy. But mainly us. Uh, if you like. Don't worry, Gavin. My lips are sealed. And I won't let anyone open them. Except. Hey. All right. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. 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 Come on then, Spill. What? Well, you went to lunch with Emma, and what? She just asked you out the blue. Yeah. Yeah. And you said yes. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. Mm. Well, at least you thought it through. <laughs> um, early wedding present. <laughs> 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 Your receipt and change. Thank you. Thank you. So, Tank has sweated cobs all night. He wakes up, right, and when he looks down at his bed, there's an outline of the Virgin Mary. No word of a lie. Maybe she slipped out while he were asleep. He hung his sheet on the wall, called it the Birchwood Shroud, charged people a quid to come and see it. No one showed up. Alan's sister saw a Bee Gee in a sausage roll once. Which one? Irene. No. Uh... Well, we were going to go for gold, but I just thought it was a little bit gypsy wedding, so we've gone for platinum instead. Nice, aren't they? Yeah. What a nice price. Well, Kieran said he can do some extra hours in here, so... That's a lot of hours. <laughs> Listen, don't say anything, but we might have got the venue that we want for November. God. <laughs> I can't wait to see Kieran's face when I tell him. Neither can I. You can tell him the good news now. Oh, no, no, I'm going to wait till we get home. We've got a glass of bubbly in our hands. <laughs> All right, fiancé. Fiancé? Have you got a potato for? Mm. Oh, this ain't just any old potato. This is a very, very special potato. Check it out. You see the outline of Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All I can see is a potato. You two are mental. Totally. Yeah. Are you, hun? Yeah, he said yes. <laughs> I know. Brilliant, isn't it? Oh, no, I, I was in no fit state to multitask. Yeah, One more time. Oh, no, no, just, no, just delete it, please. Oh, hey, it was a good night, though, hey, Gav? We'll have to do it again next week. Mate. No, listen, this will never happen again. Just as you will never refer to me as Gav or mate again. Ever. Suit yourself, Gav. In. Gavin. That's £13.62. Seeing if it's a of piss. There you go. And thank you for shopping at Valco. Hi. 
night. Night, Julie. Sleep well. <laughs> we might be saying night, deputy manager, soon. Oh, that's a bit of a mouthful. No, I mean, someone may be made deputy manager permanently soon. <laughs> oh, can't say who. Oh. Fingers crossed for whoever it is. Night, Julie. Sleep well. 